Now, we've got a nice girl who's going to come on now. Because it is, what's so lovely about this, people just come up and say, can we say something? We can say, yeah, you can. So, <laughs> her name is Sally Hyman, and she's a volunteer at a refugee camp in Greece, and she's specifically working with women. So, she's coming to have a word with us. Round of applause, please, for Sally. <laughs> come on, Sal. You all right, Sal? Okay, kids. Oh, hi. Yeah, they said you wouldn't see you, so I can't see you, but I'm going to talk at you instead. Um, my name's Sally. I was working at a refugee camp about an hour and a half from Athens. The camp is half an hour from the nearest town, and it's a red-listed UNHCR camp. A red-listed camp doesn't have running water. It doesn't have enough showers, three showers for 900 people. The food is appalling, about 1,000 calories a day. People are living in tents, in dust. There are snakes, there are scorpions, there are mosquitoes, and on a bad day, with the wind in the wrong direction, there are wild boar as well. On the camp currently are 23 pregnant women. Anybody here who's had a baby will know that you do not want to be living in those conditions, in a tent, if you're lucky with a camp bed, when you're seven months, six months, eight months pregnant. What we're doing is we are funding a flat in the nearby town where the hospital is. We're funding a flat with a floor and a roof, a flat with a fridge and a shower and all the basic stuff that you need, with a mattress, with a bed, with sheets and towels. And the women will be able to stay there if there's room before they have their babies, but when they come out of hospital so that they can recover from having a baby. Greece has a 70% cesarean section rate. So if you go into hospital to have a baby, you've got a really good chance of coming out with a massive cut down here. And you can't lift things. You can't climb off the floor. It's really tough stuff, and you do not want to get it infected. I am asking you tonight, if you've got enough money for a can, if you've got enough money for a pint, if you've got enough money for a curry, please, Give us your money so that we can raise the £3,000 that we need to fund this flat so that the women have somewhere clean to bring their babies home to, somewhere where they can establish breastfeeding, somewhere where they can be comfortable. I'm asking you for your money. Thank you. <laughs> 